Hi there everybody, uh, today we're on a bit of a road trip, a few of the guys from Armageddon. We've got a whole weekend plan and Matt, where are we going today? Uh, Bovington today. Yeah, Bovington today and then we're going to uh, Stonely the Military show tomorrow. So we've got a whole weekend of uh, tanks if like we didn't need any more. 432. <laughs> <laughs> we travel to the other side of the country and another 432. <laughs> right, we finally got to finally got to Bovington. Cheers. <laughs> Time for a wee dram. Yeah. Oh. Now we've got one of them. They're, they're grown ups, really. <laughs> <laughs> and here you got the mark. Sure we're going the right direction. It's out. Yeah. If the ground gets really bad, I even have to get out and walk in front to guide the drivers. It's going to be very dangerous work. That is cool. If only we could have half the stuff here they've got in our museum. So, Phil, what drink are you drinking? Well, when you come to the home of Tiger 131, there's no other beer to drink. You've got to drink Tiger 131. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Panzer II, this is what the Germans used during the Blitzkrieg. And here you've got the Grant, very similar to our Lee that's currently in the workshop, but it has got a different turret on top as you can probably make out. But still, this is what a completed Grant looks like. Yeah, we've got one of these in our museum, the Chieftain. An absolute beast of a tank this is. We also have one of these. Oh, and one of these. We used to have one of these for about two weeks before then we uh, sold it. So that there is a uh, snorkel. So they can go up in rivers up to that deep. That is mad. And here we have the uh, Firefly, the Sherman Firefly. And this is how the uh, Allies managed to land the uh, tanks on D-Day, using quite a few of these. Obviously, I don't think the uh, window was there in uh, 1944. They did lose a lot of these, especially the Americans, because they did take them too far out to sea, and the uh, swell and the currents and all that did end up taking a lot of them down to the bottom of the ocean. There's the uh, Panther steering and gearbox unit that yeah. would have been in one of them. And here we've got the uh, T-34. This is Richie, he was actually, he drove one of these. Yeah, you'd be a lot shorter than me to drive one of these. <laughs> Short arms. This is amazing, this is. One day our museum will be just like this. Now this is the uh, Mark I. As you can see, this is the uh, male version of it, or the female version. So the male had the uh, cannons on it, whereas the female had the machine guns. Now we're in the Tiger collection. Look at that beast. Hopefully one day we'll have uh, one of these here at Armageddon. One day. <laughs> Trying to pretend you're furious. Another building. More and more tanks and tiny. We've also got one of these and one of these. And the tortoise that weighs 78 tons, that does. 
this is what the universal carrier that we've just sold will hopefully look like when it gets to the new owner and he gets time to uh, restore it. Tank production line in the Bovington Tank Museum. Look at that. It's a very interesting uh, paint job on this one. And the heavy tank. That is a hell of a lot of vehicles. And here we go. It's going to be a bit, maybe a messy night. Oh, my God. Hey.